So today I want to talk about Samsung DeX because I know there's a lot of people out there with Samsung Galaxy smartphones, especially something like the Galaxy S24 FE, and you may be wondering if this phone can replace your laptop. And if you really want to use Samsung DeX on your phone, and if you want to use your phone as a laptop replacement, we have to talk about what accessories can help you with that process. You may also be looking at other devices like your tablets. Maybe you're looking at your Tab S9 or your Tab S10 Plus or your Tab S10 Ultra. You might be wondering how those devices can do with Samsung DeX, and you might wonder what the limitations are. Well, I'm gonna let you know about Samsung DeX in this video, so with all that being said, let's get right right into it. So one thing I want to say, especially for those people who are newer to Samsung DeX, if you have your Samsung phone or your Samsung tablet, Samsung DeX is basically taking all that information from your phone or tablet and it's putting it in a laptop interface to make it a little bit easier to use a mouse and a keyboard. It's making it a little bit easier to multitask and I really think it does a much better job than any other Apple alternative from the iPad. I think Samsung DeX is a great way to get productive on a Samsung Galaxy device. Now Samsung DeX with a phone is a little different than a tablet. If you have a tablet, it can automatically open up Samsung DeX and it can actually use all of those features right on the tablet screen itself. But if you do have a phone, the phone is a little bit too small to use Samsung DeX on. So it does require some type of wireless connection or wired connection. So you are gonna need something to plug it into, some type of portable monitor, or you are gonna have to wirelessly cast your phone to another portable device out there. So my device of choice that I'm using right now, it actually comes from today's sponsor, UPerfect. I have the UDoc X 15.6 Pro, and if you don't know what this is, this is basically a lap dock. So it's not a laptop, it actually has a keyboard, it has a touch screen, it's a 360 degree touch screen by the way, which is pretty cool. It has a touch pad, and this device can even wirelessly charge your phone, or if you wanna connect it with a wired connection, you could connect it with that. It has a SD card slot, it has a USB-A port, it has a headphone jack, and whenever you connect this device to your phone, it brings all of those connections to your phone, and it brings Samsung DeX that you get from your phone. Your phone itself is going to power Samsung DeX right to the lap dock. Now, if you're wondering if there's actually a case to buy something like this, there definitely is, because a lot of you might not want to buy a Galaxy tablet. You might want to use Samsung DeX, and you might want to use it on the go, and you might love the Samsung interface and the Android interface, and you might want it on a larger device. And we have to remember, a lot of these Galaxy tablets, they might cost five or 600 bucks, and you have to pay an extra $200 for a keyboard, and that could be very, very expensive. But if you connect your phone, and even if you have a Samsung Galaxy tablet. You could plug it into this device. You could really bring the power of those things to a much bigger screen. Because if a keyboard cover is going to cost 200 bucks with Samsung, why not spend a little bit more and get a touch screen, a touch pad, extra ports that you could use, and a portable monitor that really brings a unique experience to your device. Now, if you're out there and you have a Galaxy tablet, for example, like a Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, or a Tab S10 Plus or a Tab S10 Ultra, you could use that device actually side by side with the laptop and now you basically have dual monitors. You could have Android running on your tablet and you could have Samsung DeX running on the laptop. So that is a really awesome thing. You could put some music on one side and then you could get your work done on the laptop and you could type everything out with the keyboard. By the way, the travel is very, very nice on the keys here. The touchpad, well, I don't really love using touchpads much to begin with, but I always like to bring a Bluetooth mouse along. You could connect a Bluetooth mouse to this or you could use the touchpad. You could use this keyboard and you can even wirelessly charge your phone on the deck here. But for me, I'm gonna typically power my phone anyway with a wire. If you do want to use it wirelessly with something like this laptop, it is going to have a little bit of latency. Basically, you just connect your device with Bluetooth to the display and to the keyboard. 
Once you do that, you just have to open up Samsung DeX and you have to look for a wireless connection. Of course, your laptop has to actually be powered on to actually see it. You just connect to it through the Samsung DeX menu and next thing you know, you're gonna be able to use this wirelessly. But once again, you do have to know there is gonna be a little bit of latency with any wireless connection with any device. And if you do connect your phone or your tablet with a wire to this laptop, you are also going to be able to charge it. So this is really useful, especially if you have a Samsung Galaxy tablet, because by the time you're done using this, after two or three hours, your tablet is gonna be ready to go to be able to use it even more. So the fact that you get an SD card slot here means that you could bring an SD card and let's say you have a really nice sized SD card with a bunch of movies or maybe you have ROMs from your video game collection because if you actually have a video game collection and you legally backed up your ROMs in a very legal way, let's say you put those on your SD card, well you could connect this to your phone or your tablet and your ROMs will be readily available with this laptop. And I think it's cool that this laptop, it's not only giving you all of these extra ports, so it's basically like a USB-C hub, it's basically a portable monitor, which is something that would cost a decent amount for a decent 1080p portable monitor. The screen does look very nice on here, by the way. So yeah, it is a little bit heavier, sure, because it does have a pretty large battery in it, but this is a 15.6 inch portable monitor with a keyboard and all this stuff, and you're gonna be able to get a lot of work done from your phone on it. And that's really, really cool. But let's go back to Samsung DeX for a moment because we do need to understand using Samsung DeX on any device, even if it is your tablet or your phone, you need to know there are some limitations. Of course, Samsung DeX is running on your phone or your tablet running Android. So you're not gonna be able to run full Windows programs. So if you're talking about replacing your laptop, you do need to keep in mind, if there are very important Windows programs that you desperately have to run, well, you're not gonna be able to run them, of course, on your Android phone or on your tablet. So that means that it won't work on here either. But you do also have to understand that there are Android alternatives for a lot of Windows programs. Microsoft Office has a version on Android. Even Photoshop has a version on Android. Even if they are lesser versions with some lesser features, they will normally have most of the features as the main versions, and it might be close enough for most of you. But if you have a job that absolutely requires certain Windows programs, of course, you're probably gonna have to still keep a Windows laptop around. But if you can get past that hurdle of needing Windows programs, there are a lot of Android alternatives, especially something like LumaFusion. I'm having a great time editing videos with LumaFusion. It seems to work very well in my testing with my Tab S10 Plus or my Tab S10 Ultra or even my Samsung Galaxy S24 FE. These devices can edit video with the power that they bring to the table and LumaFusion does a good job even with 4K video. You could even create proxy files. You could also edit from an external drive. And yeah, some of these things might affect your speed in general on the program, but the program seems to do pretty good at least with newer Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, a lot of you know, video editing is probably something that you wanna do on a larger screen. So keep in mind, if you have a smaller Galaxy tablet, something like the Galaxy Tab S9, even something like the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, it is gonna be good for video editing, don't get me wrong, but once again, 12.4 inches isn't ideal for very long video editing sessions. If you do put it next to something like this laptop, it's basically like a dual monitor setup where you can actually edit your videos on the laptop and you can actually do some minor stuff on the side with your Galaxy tablet. Another thing you need to think about when editing videos, whenever you shoot videos from your phone, so let's say you shoot a bunch of awesome footage from your phone, the fact that you're gonna edit those videos on your phone, it's gonna really cut down on a lot of time transferring files. People don't realize that whenever you're having to transfer your files to Windows, that is gonna be a huge pain. So of course, having to really take your phone, plug it into your laptop, you gotta wait and wait and wait. You gotta find the right transfer cable because some of them just transfer files really, really slow. But if you instead use this device or if you use your tablet to edit your footage, you could just plug in your phone 
to the lap dock, or if you took any footage on your tablet, you could do the same type of thing. But my main point is, you could use the source device that actually has all the footage and edit it right away. That is very, very awesome. And I think it's a big overlooked part of something like content creation, for example. And really, using something simplistic can actually help you get started on your journey with content creation. Of course, there are various video editing apps, KindMaster, PowerDirector, those are both apps that you'll pay a yearly subscription for on Android. You can pay a one-time fee to get LumaFusion, and I would recommend buying it from the Play Store, not the Galaxy Store, because the Play Store, of course, can share with all of your Android devices and not just Galaxy ones. So do keep that in mind. Now, I think there's a large part of my audience that doesn't do video editing. You might just be someone who takes a lot of notes. Maybe you're a college student and you really just wanna take notes on your device. And maybe you just do a lot of your stuff on the web. I think most people out there don't need a Windows laptop. If you're not gaming on your Windows laptop and you don't require certain programs for your job, you're probably using the web for pretty much everything anyway. And Samsung DeX allows some unique things. If you get Samsung internet, by the way, it does actually have the ability to download some extensions, and that is really, really cool. And if you're using DeX, it also allows you to open up multiple versions of your browsers. So even Google Chrome, you can now open up more than one. You could open up two or even three versions of Google Chrome if you want various windows floating around. That's not something that you could typically do on a normal Android device. And one more thing I need to mention, and I know it's not the same with every app, but Samsung DeX seems to do a little bit of a better job of actually getting apps to work better with a mouse and a keyboard. So a lot of apps, they require you to hold your finger down on the app because those apps are built for touchscreen. And that's how a lot of apps are made for Android. But a lot of these apps, whenever they're in Samsung DeX, they tend to recognize that now that we're in DeX, we should work a little nicer with mouses and keyboards. So I really do like overall how Samsung DeX is thinking about that multitasking experience. And if you're someone out there and you're just looking to get a lot of work done, no, you cannot run Windows programs. I do understand that. You can't run at least all of the full versions of those things or Windows games. There's some things that you can't do, but in a lot of ways, this is going to be like running Chrome OS. It's going to be a simplified experience. You're gonna be able to use what's on your phone and use the power of your phone to get a lot of work done. Again, if you have a smartphone out there, you're going to need a secondary device. Something like this laptop, you're gonna need some type of secondary portable monitor that you could plug your phone into. And you might as well get one that has a keyboard already. So that's why I do have a $60 code that you could use actually. If you want, you could use Android Digest 60 and it will bring $60 off your purchase of the laptop. Now I found the lap dock, the prices may go up and down depending on the sales they run. But if you find it around 400 bucks, give or take, keep in mind you bring 60 bucks down, that's gonna bring it to a very reasonable price when you consider the fact that it has that keyboard, it has the screen, it has those extra ports, you could connect wired or wirelessly. And it's not just for usage for your phone because you can connect your Switch. Your Nintendo Switch only needs a good USB-C cable and you could plug it right in and you could actually play your Switch right on this device. And I really think it's cool whether it's a Steam Deck or other devices out there. If your kids just need a nice larger screen for something, you could always just give them this lap dock and they can go away and they can get their nice big screen to get their games on or be able to play whatever they wanna play and you could get your TV back. So getting a portable monitor is great for car rides, it's great for a lot of different situations and it's great to bring with you if you go to the coffee shop, 15.6 inches, a 1080p display. Again, I would recommend this lap dock overall. It's been a nice accessory to have in my life, especially with a lot of sales that I'm seeing on it. Now, I am fairly new to the portable monitor space, and I'm sure I'm gonna explore it a little more over time and explore what the best values are, but that's not really what this video is about. I really just wanted to show off Samsung DeX and some really cool things that you could do all powered by your phone or your tablet. And I really love having a nice portable setup, multiple 
multiple monitors essentially using your tablet and something like this lap dock, using those as a two monitor setup on the go. It's really, really handy and it does help you to get more work done, especially with Samsung Dex. So I don't think Samsung Dex will replace everyone's laptops. I do understand that. But if you have a Samsung phone and maybe you wanna use that to power your everyday life, I think it's really, really cool. Even something like a Z Fold, which is this massive $1,600 phone or $1,800 foldable phone. That phone is terrific, but having a nice, bigger screen for some of that extra productivity. It would be helpful even for those tablet owners. Hopefully this video has helped you out and hopefully you think about Samsung Dex. Again, if you wanna purchase this laptop, feel free to use my code. I'm gonna put it in the description. I'm gonna have all the links in the description for this and also for a lot of the Galaxy tablets that are out there. I would love for you to use those. That's a great way to support my channel. And I'm grateful to you, Perfect, because a lot of you know my channel was hit with that invalid traffic bug and it was really disappointing. So to see a sponsor like Uperfect step up to the plate, it really means a lot to me and it really does help to support my channel overall. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna check out more Samsung Galaxy Tab content, I'm gonna have a ton of content, especially full reviews of the Tab S10 Plus and Ultra. I've had initial impression videos already of those devices. I've got a lot going on on my channel. So feel free to check out some videos if you do get a little bit of time. Thank you.